the bottom line for me is out yourself. Declare yourself an anarchist. Let other people know about your politics. Um, build anarchist, explicitly anarchist projects in your community. In um, in Canada, at least, there's uh, this tension between people who uh, argue that anarchists should just plunge themselves into uh, local issues and so on, um, and certainly there are many of them that are very pressing, and participate as anarchists in, in, uh, in those social struggles and so on. Um, like, say, anti-poverty work, for example, and certainly that's central and compelling. Um, or, uh, um, you know, resisting against uh, a war. And, I, you know, there isn't a war that's happened that I haven't been protesting against, that's for sure. Uh, but so often, pursuing that line of politics uh, is simultaneously constraining us, in my opinion, because it's boxing us into agendas that aren't our own, that are often shaped by, well, economics of capitalism, or the politics of state power and its assertion globally, etc., um, which happens a lot when you're in a place like Canada, which is on the top of the heap um, in terms of economic power and so on. Um, but I would counter uh, that, in a sense, that's like being on a treadmill and revisiting the same issues over and over and over again because we aren't determining the agenda. And what interests me is uh, the way in which, as self-declared anarchists, working on explicitly anarchist projects, we can tell a different story about addressing the everyday issues that we face, like housing. If you have anarchist co-ops and a network of anarchist co-ops, which are realized through anarchist values, um, people can say, oh yeah, the anarchists are doing something about housing, <laughs> very concretely. Or if you have a bunch of anarchist farmers who uh, start farming organically and form a federation and work on marketing their, their food to various stores and things like this, then people can say, oh yeah, the anarchists are doing something about the food crisis and the fact that we're destroying the planet through pesticides, etc. Uh, you give people positive alternatives to the system that is dragging us down at the present. The only way you can do that, in my opinion, is by linking those alternatives to anarchist politics and values. How are people going to know there's an anarchist movement if we're constantly tying our, our energy and resources, etc., to things that really, you know, are, are manifestations of the capitalist state system that we're reacting against? We need to build those alternatives. And that, for me, is something that anarchists can do in their everyday life here, here and now.